Hi everyone! Today's video is brought to you by the Art Gang Hang. We are a Facebook community of artists supporting artists, and all you have to do to join is search Art Gang Hang and join the group on Facebook. Our monthly art challenge prompt for April was the word ancient, and this is the piece I created for that prompt. When I heard the prompt for the month, I immediately thought of the ancient wisdom of the crone, part of the Mother Maiden Crone trio. And once I thought of working around the theme of the crone, I was reminded of a dream I had recently where my mother, grandmother, and I were all spending time together, which would make me the maiden, my mother the mother, and my grandmother the crone. In the dream, my grandmother had three eyes, and I remember asking my mother, when did grandma throw, grow a third eye? And my mom looked at me like cross-eyed and was like, uh, your grandmother's always had three eyes. And everybody was like, yeah, she's always had three eyes. She was born that way. So that's the dream I had, and I decided to work that into the theme of ancient. So this is actually a really small painting, much smaller than I usually paint. It is a three inch by five inch, I think. This is one of the uh, oil ground sample panels that Trakel sometimes send you when you order from them. Because it's an oil ground panel, that means I cannot start with acrylic, so I started directly with oils. And this painting actually only took me three hours. It took me two sessions, an hour and a half each. And I painted this entire thing over a live stream or two live streams on TikTok if anybody wants to follow me on TikTok so you can be a part of those live streams. For the first layer of this painting, especially for the flesh tones, I really wanted to go in and make sure I put in all the colors where they needed to be. So flesh, of course, is not just one flesh color. Flesh is a multitude of different colors and colors re reflecting off of skin because it's kind of translucent. So I made sure I went in and put purple where purple needed to be, red where red needed to be, greens and grays where they needed to be so that when I went in with the second layer, I could have those colors kind of shining through and I could mute them if need be or bring them up if that needed to happen as well. And my grandmother, even though she is in her 80s, does not have gray hair. So I originally started this painting kind of working off of her ashy blonde hair. But then for the sake of the painting and using my artistic license, I did decide that if I was rendering the crone, even if it was in the likeness of my grandmother, I did want it to have more gray, silvery locks. So now in the video, I am going in with my second layer and Again, I'm kind of going in and starting with my shadow tones and beefing up the dynamism of her facial structure, starting with shadows, and then I'll go in and build the lighter tones. And if anything seems a little too chromatic, I'll kind of gray it out, or if it needs a little bit more chroma, I'll add more chroma and saturation to those colors. I also made sure I darkened the skin a little bit because against the very black background her skin was looking a little kind of translucent like super pale and just wasn't really blending in to what it should be and my grandmother is a very tan woman anyway. This painting ended up being beautifully timed to be finished just in time for Mother's Day. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, you two people, I am a little hesitant to share this with my grandmother. I really don't know how she's gonna be, feel about being the subject when the theme was ancient. Um, even though I think the, the ancient wisdom of older women is beautiful, I don't know how she's gonna feel about it. I also don't know how she's gonna feel about me having given her a third eye. So I might need to give you guys a follow up of how she feels. <laughs> Once I give this to her, she, she might just like not speak to me after that. So at this point in the painting, I'm going in and really just giving some finishing touches. I'm adding some glow around the phases of the moon. I'm darkening the black of the space. I'm adding a glow around the tiara and around her hood. Um, and then I'm just going in and working on the crystals, adding shadows and highlights to really make them pop because that's a beautiful crystal tiara that she is wearing and then I'm going in at this point I decided to kind of blend her her celestial robes into the space so I've kind of blurred that out a little bit and added maybe a little nebulas some some uh, galaxy clusters and just going in and adding highlights little bitty hairs really pulling out that silver pumping up my shadows and this really didn't take long at the end of the of this 
And then came the most satisfying part of the painting, which is where I took a toothbrush and some very thinned white oil paint and splattered some beautiful stars and went in with a paintbrush to kind of punch up some of the bigger ones. So we had some very bright stars and just cleaned it up, but that's always the most satisfying part. And then I signed it and she is done. So this is my Art Gang Hang April theme of Ancient, which is a beautiful painting of my grandmother for Mother's Day. So don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already so you can get more of my content if this is the stuff that you like. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a good day.